Hi, I'm Francis, the host of this show, Cooking with the Dog. こんにちは。今日は煮魚の定番、カレーの煮付けを作ります。First, let's prepare the curry fish, a type of flat fish, also known as right eye flounder. Scrape both sides of the fish with a knife, removing the scales. In today's cooking method, other fish such as mebaru, kinmedai, kinki, hirame, and marlin may be used instead. Remove the moisture with a paper towel. Make shallow cuts in an X pattern in the skin to help cook the inside. If the egg sacs are large, detach them from the meat to avoid undercooking. In order to get the correct temperature to cook the fish, bring one liter of water to a boil and add another third liter of water. This will bring the temperature down to about 80 degrees Celsius. Now, submerge the curry fish in the hot water. When the surface turns slightly white, Immediately place it into a bowl of cold water. This will help to reduce the unwanted fishy flavor and make it easy to remove the remaining scales. Next, submerge the egg sacs in the hot water and place them onto a tray. Gently rinse the curry fish. These procedures are important to make delicious simmered fish, so please don't skip them. Finally, remove the excess moisture with a paper towel. And now, slice the burdock root into 3 mm slices using diagonal cut. s Lightly rinse the root and strain it with a mesh strainer. Now, let's make the broth. In a pan, combine the water, sake, sugar, mirin, and soy sauce. Add the ginger root slices. Stir to combine and heat the broth on medium heat. When it reaches a rolling boil, add the egg sacs and the curry fish. Make sure to bring the broth to a boil before adding the fish. This will help to remove any unwanted flavor. And next, add the burdock root. Bring it to a boil again and ladle the broth over the curry fish. Then remove the foam with a mesh strainer. Place a sheet of parchment paper onto the curry fish and weight the paper down with a drop lid or pie plate. It is important that the fish is always submerged in the broth while simmering. Simmer for about 10 minutes and remove the lid and the parchment paper. Ladle the broth over again and then reduce. Now it is ready. Turn off the burner and place the egg sacs onto a plate. The meat of curry fish is fragile, so gently place it onto the plate. Place the burdock root next to it. 
pour over a generous amount of the broth. Finally, garnish with the shredded ginger root and the kinome, young leaves of sancho pepper. Milling will help keep the delicate fish in its original shape while simmering and also create a glossy texture, making it visually appealing. Sake, burdock, and ginger roots will help reduce the unwanted fishy flavor and go great with these kind of dishes. Good luck in the kitchen! Thank you.